While French bistros are scattered throughout Paris and Europe, they were once seemingly hard to find in Oklahoma until an Oklahoma chef opened the brasserie in Tulsa, offering French cuisine with an Oklahoma twist. There is only one thing Oklahomans love more than their food, locally grown food. Inspired by brasseries throughout Paris, the brasserie in Tulsa is offering a unique taste of Oklahoma. The brasserie was started by Tim Baker, um, he's the owner here, started uh, four and a half years ago and uh, we've been here ever since. He sort of had this uh, idea of making a cool French uh, bistro brasserie type restaurant and here we are today. Executive chef Justin Thompson. Uh, we serve uh, mostly classical French cuisine uh, with sort of a modern twist to it. So you, you'll see things like uh, foie gras pâté and, and uh, steak tartare and of course steak frites and uh, um, classic French items like that. And then you'll also see some, uh, some cooler new you know, style of food. We also do uh, tasting menus every week that change. Some days we'll do Spanish, some days we'll do uh, German, Alsatian, uh, whatever we feel like doing. Some days it's Southwest, you know, it all depends. And all these different tastes come from just down the road. The pizza style tart with goat cheese that Marcus actually sourced from uh, Krebs, Oklahoma. Uh, we're also using all of our pork products are from uh, natural farms here in town. So we have pork belly and pork loin, um, things like that. And the Made in Oklahoma Coalition helps take a load off the brasserie's plate. They help us by doing a lot of the legwork and research um, on their internet website especially. They have so many different sources that you can get on there and you know, let's say you want to use pecans from Oklahoma, you, you go on there and search pecans and sure enough, you know, eight different pecan vendors show up and so they, they offer us a chance to cut out a little bit of the legwork and really for, for chefs and for restaurant owners that, that spend a lot of time actually on the line cooking or serving, it, it helps out a lot that, that they do, do all that research for us. And time is money when you're in the front lines, of the kitchen that is. It's crispy pork